All right, people, how's it going? My name is Big Mooney, and welcome back to Hitman. Today, the freelancer mode finally released, so we can get our teeth stuck into it. If you want all the details on what most of this is, maybe check out the video I did a couple of months ago on the little trial thing. But hello, it's been a wee while, by the way. I've been working on a really ginormous, stupid bloody video that's been taking me forever to get finished. So if you've been wondering where I've been, I've been losing my mind trying to put that together. So keep an eye out for that when that does come out. It was supposed to be out before this mod came out, but that did not happen. So yeah, instead, today I'm gonna just do a wee video, get started on Freelancer, and we'll see how things are looking with the, the launch. Oh, and also they updated the entire game because like I've been saying for literally like two or three years yet, yeah, this is clearly a mega game now, you know? <laughs> It's not just Hitman 1, 2, and 3. It is the World of Assassination trilogy or whatever. Alright, let's get stuck into Freelancer then. Alright, we watched we watched this the first time around. If you want to see this cutscene, watch my first video. Alright, so from what I remember, it's all about putting together a sort of series of successful contracts, taking out a sort of boss, and then stringing together like, what is it, like three or maybe five of those in a row or something, and then you, you get special stuff. I, I don't know, I'm doing a terrible job explaining this. I'm gonna skip most of all this stuff, because I covered all this, this the first time. All right, who are we going after today? I'm gonna go with the pest. Okay, so the different kinds of organizations determines the way that you do the kills at time. Potential objectives. Oh. Maybe they've, uh, sort of tightened up what kind of objectives it gives you so you get less ones that don't make any sense like we were getting but we'll see i guess we'll see leader of an eco crime syndicate mo destroying natural resources driven by greedy exploitation or corrupt political agendas polluting and poisoning food sources causing famine and ecological disasters active in the extinction of endangered species so all round scumbags begin the campaign. Ah, I won. Well, let's this do it. Oh. So we can go to Miami, Whittleton Creek, Chongqing, and that is it for now. Let's start off in Whittleton Creek, I guess. So yeah, for those of you who don't really know what is going on, uh, oh, there you go, gear capacity and all that kind of stuff. You can only take a limited amount of stuff into the mission with you, uh, depending on your gear. It says up in the top left, just there, so you can't go in carrying millions of different gadgets and stuff. But we only have a gun at the moment because we're just beginning again. We're going straight from scratch. All the stuff that I did in that first couple of videos, they were on a separate game. It was like a trial game, but it was just that on its own. So, electrocution kill. Push kill, poison target with a metic syringe. Or just a metic, whatever. Now, there, there's a person on the map that's got, like, guns you can buy off of them, but I don't have any money just now, so I can't even go up to them and use them. But I think I can kill either target either way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just do it in whatever way I want. So, we'll have to go and see if there's a, an opportunity at all to maybe oh, poison someone yeah. if they take a drink or whatever. So it's this guy at the back of the police barricade. I don't know. Does he go and take a drink? Oh, does he drink from that? Okay, well, that's no use to me then. Right, let's go and have a look at our, our other target. Figure out what the deal is. I think we're, we're gonna have to use some puddles. There are far too many people. Although there's a lot of uh, beverages. Ah, it's this one. I recommend you explore a bit more. Is he just wandering around? Oh, what is going on? All of a sudden my game... Oh, why is he... He wasn't doing this a minute ago. Why is he doing it now? What the f... I think it's the controller again, but like, I never touched it. I never moved anything. <laughs> that was random. Electrocution. Push kill. Wait, hold on. I hope he's... He's not a normal NPC, is he? He's not normally there, is he? I've never seen the guy do that route. Could use the car battery that is in... Oh. In here, right? No, there's an emetic poison in here though, which I do need. Aha, there's a car battery, right. So, this has to be for this man. Try to see if there's a hose or something. Let me see if I can find a nice, kind of subtle water source. Aha! If he doesn't do anything, then we can lure him in. Shit. Go on, guy. Where's he going? 
Oh. <laughs> oh, I fucked it up. Uh, I can try again, I guess. Yeah, I don't have anything where it could lure him in. I could leave my gun, but that that is kind of risky. Yeah, sh I should have did this first, shouldn't I? <laughs> All right, other target in the corner. See, I have to hang around here, I think, to make this happen. He's bloody sleeping, man. Seriously, mate, we're trying to do this at a reasonable kind of speed. Come on now. Yeah, there he goes. He's woke up. Just realised he's still at the party. Right. Now, please come back this way. No. No, he's went inside, man. No. Oh, he's in a bloody bathroom. That's perfect as well. Shit. I've already used up my car battery. Hold on, there's a box up still. Oh, it's in the attic, apparently. This is another one of the, the, the wee things that's different on this. That screen is freaking out, man. Look at that is. shit. A little something to help you on your assignment. Use oh, wisely. right. Oh, that was actually a decent amount. I think when I did this before, I was getting like... Like 50 of them or something. Oh, no, wait, I can't have that. Is he a way back outside? No, he's still in the bathroom. Look at all these If only materials. I didn't bloody already Who use up my car guy? battery, this would have been Bob perfect. Bob Roth is a legend. I'll shame on you. You talking shit on Bob Ross, you dick? Do you want to get Seriously, flung out of that window? Deal? Oh shite. Art. Oh shite, he's gone there now. Okay. Right, that guy saw me, but he didn't. Stuff. Too busy shouting at a man about Bob Ross. Let's get crazy. Let's have some fun. Please walk in here, mate. Just do it for you. Hey, here we go. <laughs> All right. And my work here is well done. done can I, like... This surely be a blow to the syndicate. I can't get near that, can I? I don't want to accidentally electrocute myself, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. Now, I don't think I'll be able to poison them, because I... I only have, like, a packet of rat poison. I can't go up and just jam it down his throat. Right, how do we... How do we push this man off of something? The other guy went into the house, but I don't think I would have been able to take him up the stairs and then throw him. See, the only thing around here is that well, hole there, and I don't think you can just push them in it. Eh? But, alternatively, we could just... just take him out. I don't think there is an opportunity to push him or poison him or anything like that. He's gonna go inside and then is that his loop then? He stands there, he walks over there, he comes out here. Is that it? Okay. Come on. Come on. We've got a possible intruder. Sweeping area. Over. Intruder, you aren't even anywhere. You're just out in the street, guy. Oh, not in the mood for playing games here. There you go. Syndicate Give me your gun. Eliminated. Well done, 47. Return to the safe house. Collect yourself. Can I just I'll leave that? No. Shit, I don't know if they will see him, but I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> Sometimes the simplest methods are the best. <laughs> I mean, he's right next to them. He's just that weird angle behind that electric box. Yeah! Good shit. I don't think we really had any opportunity with that guy to do either of the other kill conditions, unfortunately. But we can... I could have checked the... Merchant or whatever the hell they're called. And they might have had an emetic syringe for me. Oh well, ah, whatever. Wait, did I just say that there's a hardcore mode? Let me know when where you have to do the kill conditions. By the way, for people... Uh, you don't have to... Go up to the wall and put your gun on it. You can just drop it anywhere and it'll appear over there. Oh yeah, we get a Each thing. Each time you return to the safe house, I'll provide you with a free item. You can only pick one out of three. Remote so explosive devil rubber duck. What the f- have you ever seen this shit? <laughs> what the fuck? A flash device or a sedative poison vial. People were saying these are pretty useful. I've never really used them though. I'm gonna take the take the duck, I think. It's probably the most useful thing. Plus just like look at it, man. How can I not? <laughs> Alright. 
Am I going to take it in with me? I don't know. We'll see what we have to do first. Right. Miami or China? One target on China. There's a safe, which I think I know how to actually get in now. I didn't know how to do that before. One target on each. All right. Burning kill. Poison guard and make target slip. <laughs> it's a bit random. All right. Okay. I'll leave the duck here. We'll be ah, God damn it. Like, did I just own these planes? If they got like pilots around the world that just fly these planes about and they don't even know he's on the plane or something. He's supposed to be a ghost. Welcome Can he just have a plane? Make a target slip. I, that would be very, it's a very specific action that you can only really do at certain points around the map. I guess unless you uh, use a banana, which I don't know if there are any about, but I do remember that they were giving away bananas pretty frequently when I was playing the uh, trial version of this. Ah, it's in the facility under us. All right, well, I can't get to that box just yet. It's so one of the guards. Oh, I know exactly which guard it is. There's a guy. Yeah, he's in, like, the stairwell, and he's sort of sitting by those uh, bookcases or shelves or whatever with his feet up. I think he's the only guy over there that's sitting like that. This this guy here, I might be able to get some, some tools. Oh, a supplier. That's a lot. What's happening, Mr. Shady fucker. Oh, I can't afford anything. Fantastic. We got a breach in charge or we can get a police baton. Okay, so it looks like you want to save at least three to five thousand before you can start buying some useful weapons. Burning accident, poison a guard and make the target slip. There's only one target, so I need to make him slip and then burn him to death. How the hell did I do that? <laughs> Aha, there it is, I knew it was something like that. <laughs> just standing there, just pressing all sorts till we get it right. <laughs> okay, there's the, one of the things that I need to do to get into the safe. Okay, hold on. Uh, flash grenade, a hammer, and an icicle. I guess we'll go with the... Pick it. Pick it for God's sake. Okay, so a hammer is useful, so... Oh, that's a guy worth a lot of money if I, if I get... If I take him out. Wait, no, I want that. I'm just gonna dump this. Just, I don't think I need to, but I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Right? Are there any tools whatsoever up here? Oh, a crowbar. Okay, I'll take that. That's one thing as well. There's a lack of stuff spawning in on this mode. It seems to really be stingy about the amount of items that are on the map. There are not many of them. See, like things like uh, there's normally a sniper up here, right? Yeah, see, there was ammo for the sniper, but they removed the sniper. They forgot to remove the ammo, apparently. There's nothing even up here. There's not... There's no, you know, little random things like, you know, screwdrivers and hammers and all that kind of thing. It's like they intentionally sort of, like, starve you of items. So you have to be, like, very careful about what the hell you actually bring into the game. I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily like it or dislike it or whatever. I think just it changes the way you play the game, I guess. Whether or not you like it or not is kind of up to you, really. Right, so what do I want to do then? I don't think there's a way that I can get a burning kill on him. I know you can get, like, jerry cans and stuff, but then again, that, I think that was filled with water. It wasn't filled with any flammable liquid. I don't know. Am I going to make him slip and burn him and... City administrators are reporting a decrease in the numbers of homeless people. Okay, it's not the target is moving, it's the other guy. If I've just removed this guy, then I'm quite happy with that. And off. There he goes. Okay. And the other guy is none the wiser. Fantastic. And we can go on a hunt to see if we can find what we need. See, this guy doesn't even think I'm suspicious now, never mind anything else. Can I walk up and scan this? My hey, it doesn't make you look tough. Only stupid. Put the gun away. I've not I've got a camera maybe you talking about. How? You don't like my camera, pal? Huh? Eh? You don't like it? How oh, is the problem? Yeah, yeah, that's your good side there, pal. Oh. Quit it! Now! Come on, stand up! <laughs> Alright, aye, sorry, aye, I'm stood. I'm stood up, it's all good. Lovely. Alright, cool. 
Oh, let's see then. Is it any good? Oh, it's just Mercer's. I guess it's quite a fair bit of Mercer's, actually. How am I supposed to focus when the kitchen feels like a train station? Find your inner zen. Shut up, dickhead. I'm just passing through. I take this apricot just because... Okay. Fuck you. And your knife. Alright, do without, bitch. I thought that may have been some... Some rogue bananas. Just... Lying around. I don't know why they'd be in here, but... Yeah, yeah it's just apricots. I don't think I can pick up. Nope. No bananas at all. Is there anywhere... At, but what about people's houses? Is this worth... Is this worth doing it this way? I'd probably be better off just getting it done and moving on to the next one. Another knife. That's his name. See, the thing is, the target itself is so easy to kill, I'm not even worried about that at all. I just want to make him fall over first. That's it. For some extra cash. What is that? Strange note floating in the air. <laughs> they don't even have one. Oh, well, I've got a couple of coins. Can I take those back? I don't know. Keep Nenny in here, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, well, I did all that for no reason. Thought maybe someone's house. There's a chance. It's gonna turn out there's a fucking fruit market or something in there. There's a couple of chefs out here. Maybe they got a crate of, like, stuff. Hello. No. Uh -huh. Oh, this guy's just got, like, his hey, dinner. An apology would be nice. Shut up, dickhead, or I'll throw you off the side of this. Again. Okay, I guess that was all a giant waste of time, and we're just gonna... We're just gonna do it. Subdue. It's not what I need to do. There we go. Oh no! He slipped! Oh. That's unfortunate. Or maybe he just couldn't handle the lack of potassium in his diet due to a lack of bananas in his local area. Possibly that was what done it. I'm not sure what. I could have done really. <laughs> you know, at these early stages, you've not really got any tools to work with. Some of the kill conditions can be a bit, a bit awkward, and you can't really do anything about them because you don't have the stuff. And imagine further down the line, it'll, it'll be a bit more likely that you could do all the kill conditions. You know what I mean? Oh, right. What are we getting? What are we? Oh, uh, water canister, modern lethal syringe, proximity explosive. Let's go with a lethal syringe, that's, that's always a useful thing to be able to just do. Alright, Miami, it's a showdown mission. For those of you unfamiliar, once again, the final mission you get to go up against a sort of slightly harder target that is hidden amongst the NPCs. Your goal is to identify and eliminate the hidden leader. Failing this will result in the failure of the whole campaign. So yeah, you need to make sure you, you get this right. But it doesn't tell you straight up like who it is that you're actually looking for. Gear over capacity. Oh, really? I need to level up the gear capacity thing. I'll do two campaigns in today's video. Welcome to Miami. We now know the leader's current location. However, as we don't know the exact description, this means you will have to do your own recon. On the other hand, we do know this. They are here for a business meeting. Mm. We also have the following description on their looks. We know that they have blonde hair. They are wearing a necklace. They are sporting a tattoo and wearing a hat. We have further a tattoo, a hat, and a necklace. Suffers from dehydration. And last but not least, okay. they have a sweet tooth. I hope these tells can be used to your advantage. What we got? Oh, just Mercer's. All right, an extra thousand. That's more than I got for the entire last mission. So yeah, really, sometimes you probably are just oh, you probably are just better off um, try to do it as quick as you can, just so you can simply move on to the next mission. In and get more money. Hopefully do at least one kill condition. So, electrocution kill, poison a guard and make the target slip. I didn't even do the guard poisoning thing. I really should have done that in the last one, shouldn't I? Oh, shit. <laughs> as soon as I'd done it, I just left. Okay, the supplier guy is right here. I mean, for my didgeridoo. Shit. All right. So, electrocution kill, poison, uh, poison a guard. So, I mean, I could just buy this and then just just poison the guard. What is this one? Sedative. Seems like a no-brainer to buy this, right? It costs less for a, a grenade than it does for a wrench. Hmm. Here we go, finally. Oh, right, it's one of these guys. That's what it is. Right, okay. Yeah, no. That's the name of the game. 
Okay, I'm at now. Okay, cool. I just needed to get that guy out of the way. Saying that, I could probably bring him in here, right? As many miles as possible, no matter. All is cool. That's it. That's brilliant, mate. Okay, there's a crate on the other side as well, but I can't get bloody through. I need to go around. I can't. <laughs> God damn. Alright, okay. I'll go around this way. I have to go real long convoluted routes because I don't have a lockpick. I'm allowed in here, right? I'm not here specifically for some reason, but... Uh, set it to poison vial, close of baseball. Right, I'll go with a vial. I'll go with a vial. And I'll take the sugar and... I don't need to be a waiter. Get out of there. The scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. I was just wandering in to the security room. That's not. That's not right. Assassin? Is that what they are? He's got the hat. He's got the. Oh, it says blonde hair. He's got blonde hair. Hat, tattoo, blonde hair. Where's the tattoo? He's eating a fucking chocolate bar, so I guess that's the sweet tooth thing. Dehydrated, I'm guessing that just means they take a drink every once in a while. Does he have a necklace? She's got a necklace. She doesn't have any tattoos. It said assassin nearby when I got near him specifically. Lookout nearby. So, they all kind of work with each other, even if they aren't my prime suspect. Hey, scan out. It's just always money, apparently. Alright then. See, there's only one of them still down there. The, the other person that was next to me, they actually, like, left. Went somewhere else in the map. They're walking around with the... They're walking around with one of the other suspects. Right, I need to get one of the good suit guard outfits. Uh oh Oh, shit. Can you kill the assassins? Is that okay? See, she doesn't have any tattoos. We have Get the scouts have fuck out of my way. Don't act suspicious, or they might alert the leader. A burner phone. Might be a way for you to manipulate the movements of our possible suspects. As someone did say, a good way to check is if you can, like, hide them or not. I don't think this is my suspect, though. What? Oh, apparently that doesn't work. Okay, um, I'm just gonna... Gonna leave her there. Okay. <laughs> A large scale field test of Palace in a few Oh, the Robert Knox coming. Oh, shit. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> Why'd you get knocked out with a bag of sugar? That's just. That's just embarrassing. Doesn't have tattoos. The tattoos seem to not. Uh, Watch your step, 47. Undercover assassins may be present. Oh shit, no, I didn't mean that. Not prime suspect. He don't have no tattoos though. Although apparently he's got the blonde hair and the hat and everything, but I'm sure like you know tattoos aren't a very common thing for one of the NPCs to have, I don't think. See this guy Oh, oh wait, he's got I don't see any tattoos on any of these NPCs. Oh, Who's this guy? Hold on. Who is this guy? I've just never... Uh, this guy is shadowing my... Pre oh my god, what? Oh, they're under me. I thought, I thought they were coming up behind me there. Okay. What a very suspicious individual. You get in there out of the way, pal. Assassin down. Ah, oh, right. So they're not marked. What is this guy doing? Are they going for a meeting right now? Hey, right, again, you don't have any of the things. Tattoos? You don't get tattoos, pal. I don't see any tattoos on any of these guys. It did say tattoos, right? Hidden leader clues. Business meeting. Blonde hair. Hat. Necklace, tattoo, dehydrated, sweet tooth. I think they were all heading up for a meeting right now. I think that's what that guy over there is waiting for. I don't see any tattoos on this man. I could just kill him and then go and kill the other guy. Oh, 
Why don't I say it? There's gunfire happening. Do you guys just hear that shit? He doesn't have any fucking tattoos either. I don't understand what's going on. I'm just gonna end up murdering all of them. There's only four hey. people marked, and I swear I checked all of them. I'm gonna have to get this guy off of the map. So I can't put any suspects. Ah, so. See, he's got. Let me, let me roll him on his front here. Get me, gonna roll. Suspect camera. You got a necklace. He's got a necklace. He's got a he's got a blonde hair. He's got a hat. He's I don't see any tattoos on any of the NPCs. Business meeting. He was one of the two people that were up here, right? It's either got to be him or it's got to be the other guy. Again, I don't have anything to make them slip or anything either. I got a nice silent pistol now, though. I could just use this. Non-target killed. God damn it. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. I'm gonna go check the other guy. I don't give a fuck, man. He's got something's got it's gotta be one of the two of them. It's gotta be. It's just gotta be that guy. Which I think is this man here, but I am not entirely one hundred percent sure. Where are their tattoos? Where do they get tattoos? It's not a thing I've really noticed a whole lot on Hitman NPCs. Oh a shotgun. Oh don't mind if I do, pal. But yeah, it's not really a thing I've i I've noticed with NPCs. That they have a lot of tattoos. I've not got a thing to throw to it. Oh, I've got a coin. What's happening? You see that coin? Um. Little bit of 47, the target is trying to escape. Don't let what? that happen. Good job, 47. You eliminated. I could have phoned them, couldn't I? I picked up all these bloody phones. Was that not the right target? Or is that just because they saw me pointing the gun right at their face? Is that what she meant? So I need to poison a guard still, so I could get some money. That counts, right? <laughs> oh, it's all good. Nothing happened. I feel like I checked all the bloody NPCs that it said to check, and none of them had any tattoos, but they all had literally every other trait that it said. They all had blonde hair, they all had necklaces, they all had hats on. So I don't know what the deal was with that. <laughs> <laughs> or I just didn't see a tattoo on someone. It's just it could could have just been that. I don't know. But we got a thousand mercers plus the couple that I found as well. So uh, you know what? Still well, worked out okay. So I got them then, right? I just killed both people that went to the meet because they both wore the same shit. Let's do one more. What are we gonna get then? Oh, oh, a big sniper rifle. Don't mind if I do. Ha <laughs> ah, yeah. All right, so you need to do four in a row to unlock hardcore mode. Ah. All right, the Pied Piper. Murder for hire, no code or method. Countless collateral, cruelty and unnecessary suffering. <laughs> Competitive. Okay. Silence pistol kill, fiber wire kill, silence firearm kill, sniper rifle kill. Okay, so it's just a lot of very uh, assassin -y type kills, I don't know. Yes, I want to do it with that. That sounds like my kind of thing. Ambrose Island. Alerted territories are significantly harder to traverse undetected and making a major mistake will result in failing the entire campaign. So I'm guessing that's this one. Oh no, not Colorado. <laughs> Aww. Let's start with Hokkaido. Right, take no damage, a silent pistol kill, and eliminate guards with a sniper. Okay. Oh yeah, we just got to these when we wrapped up playing last time. You can pick one Headshot kill, legendary. Mission. Yeah, that seems what I should do. Uh, collateral kill, accident. Headshot kill, I think, because we're going to have to shoot one in the head anyway. Okay, we need a silence pistol, which uh, we have only got one, but I guess we'll take it. A headshot kill, take no damage. And I need a sniper rifle, of which again, I have one. Cool. Over capacity. What does this take up? Five. Oh, that's an issue. <laughs> that's a real issue. I'm gonna have to buy a buy a rifle when I get there. Then we'll take a look at the uh, at the safe house further down the line. At, the po at this point, it's just a big empty shell. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm looking forward to you know once I get a bit more hours in it. If you want to see more freelancer videos, by the way, let me a comment down below and leave your thoughts on this mode so far. Again, I'm enjoying the change of pace. It's good. You know, they've taken another sort of like angle at this game. Okay. 
I'll be honest, this uh, starting position isn't the best. I've never really been a fan of it. There's a crate there, but I can't really get to it just now. This man... Oh, thank you that that's still there. Lovely. Right. And here you go. And what we got? A metic gas grenade, a kitchen knife, a remote flash... I guess the gas... gas grenade. Yeah. It's a useful tool. You know, you do only get one use out of it though. But now we can go up here and it's not really an issue. So that's good. What you got for me here? An oil canister. Yes, definitely better than a water canister, so I could definitely use this. I want to try and maybe take this out with me, actually. I'm hiding in this little back room. Hey, you need it. Right. Oh my god, the only sniper I got is bloody 40 grand. In the last one, there was one that was going for like four. That's all I really need. I don't need the ultra mega fancy sniper rifle of doom. What is this? Collector's coin? A lethal poison vial is 500. It's useful. Might as well get it. There's another silenced pistol for me. Oh, that's so shite, man. Why have I got to get the bloody really Back expensive sniper? <laughs> I just need a sniper. Okay, where's my target? I haven't even looked. Right. Oh, it's bloody Jason Portman. Ironically, if I had my own, like, stuff on, it'd be better for this. But you know what? He might actually go down into his own room here. And I don't think there's anyone there. If I shoot him in the back of the head and get out of here, then we're good. Bandages have to come off today. Ah, oh, he's not actually going there. Shit, I thought he was going to go to his room. I guess I could do it here. Syndicate member eliminated. Well done, son. Get back to the safe house. I'll be in touch. <laughs> That's one way to do it, huh? And uh, <laughs> I mean, it's like silent. Oh, no one found them. Yeah, for like three whole minutes. Oh. You need to do it with a legendary firearm. Ah. Oh. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. I didn't know that that's how it worked. This is part of the learning experience, okay? <laughs> okay, so if it says it's legendary headshot, it means... Legendary gun. Okay. Now I know. Okay, well, we got an oil canister. We got... Cool. Let's see. What's next then? Ambrose Island. Can only use one disguise. Does that mean I get to pick up one disguise? Or does it mean I need to keep on what I've got on? Eliminate guards. Sniper. Again. Pacify with a baseball bat. Timed... Time, a time trial. I don't know get disguises that goes against literally the only use one disguise rule. I guess we're gonna go with the time trial. I don't have a baseball bat and I don't know where you get one on that map. It'll probably give me about 30 seconds to do the bloody task, but we'll see how we get on. But I think we Welcome do get one disguise Amazon change. We have been informed okay, that yeah, we're, we're spawned down with this. Okay, go, go, Find the go. Target and eliminate. Be careful, one disguise, hide the bodies. Just need to hide the body, really. Where is he? I don't know, is this possible? I, I really couldn't tell you. <laughs> Do I just charge in there? If we can get it done in less than two minutes. Somehow. Funny. <laughs> We're not gonna get this done. Ah, shit. The other way over there. It's one of the cooks or something. I think one of the guys that are wearing aprons, I don't know what they are, not cooks, they're like excavators or some shit. One disguise change though, uh, I think it's gonna be this. Yeah, yeah, but no chance we're getting the, the other uh, task done. Not a chance in our old man. Right, is there a way? Supposed to baseball. Just in case it gets a bit ugly. <laughs> I need to hide his body. Does in the bushes count? I don't think it does. But it is a valid question. If I was to take him down here, I can't put him in the sea. There's nowhere for me to hide him, and I can't silently get rid of that camera. Okay, it looks like he only goes between two spots. Okay, hold on. Can I get him in here now? Oh. Okay. Nothing, I guess. Ow! Ow! Well done, 47. So I can't. This will surely be a blow to the syndicate. 
Return to the safe house. Collect yourself. I'll be in touch. I don't think it counts. <laughs> I don't I don't think it counts at all. Right. Now, can I get this guy's body to there's a crate right here, but I'm gonna end up having to knock out this whole camp. I, I do need to shoot three of them in the head. And I have dropped my briefcase. Ah, there it is, right. I do need to shoot three of them in the head. I don't wanna have to shoot like everyone and also, you know, probably die in the process of, you know, trying to do that. If there was just like a nice little ledge for me to push them into the sea or something. It would have been fine, but there's not. What if I went down here and caused some real shit? I'm gonna put my briefcase. No, don't roll away. Okay, no one heard it, that's good. Let's go. Ah, fish. Nitroglycerin. Yeah, nitroglycerin. I'm thinking that if I drag these guys down here. Hey mate, you hear something? I don't know if I heard that thing. You need to wash out these ears, you know. Command, I've got someone on the ground. I'm oh. moving in. <laughs> Good luck with that guy. Get in there. Get in there fast. Get in there fast. Uh oh. But you know what? That's a prank candidate for the final shot, isn't he? Copy command. Still looking. No sign of the perp. Hold on. Get hurry up, 47. Got him shooting! Sir! Move out! Okay, I understand. Shh. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm just gonna get out of here for now. Yep. <laughs> All this just so I can go up there. And move one guy. Here, Come on. Calling in from the beach. Let's go. No sign of that wrong oh. Shit, not not as many of these people moved as I thought, mate. <laughs> For a thousand, it's really not worth it, is it, getting caught here? What's going on here? <laughs> Wearing my briefcase like a handbag here. What the fuck? So I just need to get them down here. Ah, even if I do it, there's no guarantee I'll be able to actually get them out of here. There's nowhere to hide them. For all I know, you'd be able to throw them over this ledge and that would count. I don't know. Do you know what, man? I feel like I should just get out of here. <laughs> right, let's get my briefcase. Don't want to forget that. And, uh, I'll take the... Oh, I can only have the knife or I can have the machine gun. Ah, I'll take the knife. Uh-oh. <laughs> this guy's made me suspicious of me. For some reason, they're dumping their bodies down here. Alrighty then. Shooting those three men in the head with a sniper rifle was probably a little bit unnecessary, but you know, it's what a man order. Okay, two more. Ah, more gear allowed. Elimination payout, 300. Targets one, couriers one, suppliers one, safes one. Poison target, eliminate three guards with a sniper rifle. I don't think that's gonna happen. Headshots only. I can poison the target with a sedative and then shoot them in the head. A remote EMP charge, I don't think I've ever used that. Chloroform and an explosive phone. Let's go with a phone. I won't use it this time round, but... Remember, we have the phone now, that's good. Missing pristi- oh yeah, shit. Oh wait, oh. Oh, it says it right there. <laughs> it says it right there in front of me. Oh shit, has that been there the whole time? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just reading... I'm just reading the actual things down there, but I didn't see that there was an entire bloody briefing right in front of my face. Uh, right, complete a mission within the time limit. Whenever you perform a silent take time, the timer resets. Wait a couple of seconds to see if the takedown was noticed. So you just go from target to, like, just person to person, just knocking them out. Get disguises. Complete the mission within the time limit. Whenever you change it and you disguise the timer resets, once a disguise has been used to reset the time, you cannot use the same disguise again, okay. No firearms can be used during a mission to eliminate all my targets. Yeah, we can't do that last one. So, we could go for a silent takedown, I guess. Because I don't want to be type, like pressed into jumping a gun to get a disguise. Although they're kind of both the same thing, aren't they? I mean, you need to knock a guy out to get the disguise anyway. I guess we'll take that one. Oh, you can change it after you've taken it. Ah. Oh. 
Right, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I don't know if the timer starts right away or if the timer starts when I knock someone out. I don't know. If the case is that it hasn't started until Welcome I knock someone out, then I can maybe not knock someone out for a while. Fine, no? No, we're at 2.24 well, already. You know the drill. Okay, However, um, shit, where? Target's right there, though. And you get them with a, a trank shot. Oh. I could gotta go now. Oh. Shit, there's a guy coming right now. Excellent work, 47. You've spread oh. fear within the syndicate. I could get over there, can I? There was the way I got in there, right? Okay, got it, got it, got it. Oh, lovely. That was easy. <laughs> Good thing it spawned me right next to him. I guess I could have ran around and got other things done, but screw it, just go. We got the, the extra objective done as well because I just left. I didn't have to silently take down more than one person. Cool. I think that's one of the most profitable ones I've done so far and I, it was like the easiest of all of them. I think it just shows the way that the objectives kind of pan out, kind of determines how much money you really make. I could have just left after about 10 seconds. That guy wouldn't have even seen the guy lying dead. I just didn't realize there was another exit Excellent point right work, next to me. Good. Okay, what we got? Disposable scrambler is useful. Seeker one is useful though. I'll go with a seeker. Mendoza, six targets. There are six suspects. Hide the body, silence firearm, kill, and eliminate guards with a sniper. Job, At least there is a sniper on this map. The syndicate leader's current location. Right, what we got then? Get disguises, time trial, no firearms. Again? So we gotta identify our target this time once again. Welcome to Venido Yates, Argentina. Okay, it's already counting Venido. down, I've not even moved. We have managed to locate the leader. However, oh wow, just spawn me at the opposite end of the bloody map and then tell me, oh yeah, you've got two minutes. That might help you on your mission. Uh, uh, this way, this way, this way. We do know this. They are here to attend a business meeting. We also know that they have grey hair. They are wearing a necklace. They are wearing earrings and glasses. Grey hair, necklace, earrings, glasses. Suffers from dehydration. And last mm -hmm. but not least... They have a sweet tooth. Apparently so does everyone. I'm gonna you are filling that suit out good. I'm just gonna go right past your hand, don't worry about me. This is a nice safe place to get yourself a disguise. A grenade, a hammer, yeah, a hammer, so we can get this guy's disguise. Alright. Alright, alright, get him out. Get changed, reset. Assassin here, but I think it's doing that because they're above me. It's confusing it the same way that this map. This map seems to have a lot of confusion going on with the floors and stuff. Are these guys in here? No, they're the same as me. Shit. Oh, damn it. I got a minute and a half to find another disguise. <laughs> I'm not even doing the objective I'm here to do because I'm too busy running about doing this stupid shit. I need to watch out for a, an assassin, apparently. Oh, shit. Okay, man. Wait here, and I'll look into it, huh? Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Go. There we go. And I don't think anyone's gonna come up here. Fuck it. Open that shit. Right, get him. Okay. Finally, we're starting to get near the people we're actually here to, to kill. Taking out the cameras would be good, but oh well. Come on, we got a fish, blueberry muffin, and more nitroglycerin. Let's go with a fish. Right, we've got a minute 47, but I need to at least look. So, grey hair, glasses. Let's get a grey hair over there. Let me see, what have we got? Business meeting, earring, glasses, grey hair, necklace, dehydrated sweet tooth. Grey hair, doesn't say they've got a hat on, so no hat. This guy doesn't have a hat, wearing glasses, but he's got them on his head though, and a necklace. 
I see a necklace. Got a minute 20 before I'm gonna have to switch. So I need to start thinking about where we're gonna go for that. Grey hair, hat. Oh, yeah. See, it would say they had a hat though, right? Hat, glasses, bald. It's gotta be that guy with no no hat on. And this guy is wandering about. That is an assassin right there. All right, hold on. I'm gonna go in here and get this guy's disguise. Hurry up, guy. Come on. Have a cigarette or something. Okay. Cool. We'll reset it again. That's good. I think it's gotta be this guy that I saw outside. Oh, I think they're already having a meeting. I think this guy walking is the assassin. So there's two guys walking in the distance, the two targets. I think one of them has to be... has to be the real target. Probably going to a nice secluded location for us. The guy that's following them around, that's the assassin. She's got glasses and she's got the... Hmm, she does actually fit the description. This guy's an assassin or something, man. I thought it'd be this guy. So he's got he's got sunglasses on his head, but I don't know if that means if that's the same as oh he's got he's wearing glasses. Because he's technically not wearing them on his eyes, but he is wearing them on his head. Earrings. Ah, hi there. Earrings. I don't notice any earrings with you. Earrings. God damn it. Yeah, she's got them on. It's her. Right. Okay. So, how? Well, the assassin go anywhere near me if I'm blending in. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna get the disguise change that I need. Because it would. Wait a uh oh. Oh shit. The, the network, the secret network is escaping. 47, the target is trying to escape. Don't let that happen. Is that all? The leader is eliminated. Sending a <laughs> <Go on. laughs> Return to the safe house. Collect yourself. I'll be in touch. I will. I will. How Can I not? Tell my dad that I Although I wasn't unsilenced, I really should have got my pistol out and just shot her there. But she was there and I just thought... You know what? <laughs> Fucking shoot her right in the face. Get it done. Get out of there. I walked past an NPC that was an enforcer. It might have been the assassin. I don't know. The person over there running away. But I got the person that I needed to get. I just want to leave. I just want to leave, though. I just want to leave. Just gonna leave. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Go. Cool. I have no idea whether or not they were doing that thing where, like, they're protecting their principal. So, like, you go anywhere near well them, you just get gunned this down. This will make anyone think twice before turning to a life of crime. Just in case 47 comes by and shoots fuck at them. I'd say that's, that's a good life choice. Not doing the life of crime thing. That was a, a drastic failure on every level except... You know, getting the person we were there to get. Everyone saw me, but does it matter? Does it fuck? Ornamental pistol? Right, and let's see Excellent. what are our rewards. Give me a wee drum roll. We got a quick draw fiber wire thing. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's always good to have a fiber wire option. And a professional screwdriver, a micro remote explosive. Or lethal pills. Gone with the pills. But I think we'll do a second part to this freelancer sort of uh, first stage here, and I'll, I'll maybe do that for next week. And my next, uh, my next video, I think, is going to be like I said at the start of this, one of the biggest things I've ever made, and it's taken forever. I'm sorry about the wait. It's been a good while since I had a brand new video out. So thank you for you guys for being patient, and I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And leave me a comment down below. What do you guys think about freelancers so far? Are you going to sink a lot of time into this, do you think? Or do you think you'll just ignore it? Personally, 
I'm looking forward to sinking my teeth a bit further into it and seeing what we can do. I'll maybe do some house customization at the start of uh, over the next one. I've not really touched uh, the house yet. There's all these different places like the wardrobe. So join me next time when we do some more of that. I hope to see you guys there. Goodbye. <laughs>